Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Lots of stuff to show you. For example, saving works now. So that's good. Um, here's my character. Let's go to the vault. Uh, we can pick out the items we want to use. I want to go with damage, so I got that. Um, I don't think I showed you evasion. Well, that's the stuff on my character. Um, yeah, I don't think I showed you the evasion rune or the fire rune, so let's do that. Put those on. But I won't be able to heal, so let me just show you this real quick. That's the evasion rune. It helps you avoid stuff. Fire blast rune. Now here's another improvement. Notice that this is not grayed out like Looted Eye 1 used to be if you used the ring. Now you can switch the item. It's just that the cooldown of that item remains whatever it was when you switched them. So that's good. Um, See, so yeah, I should probably salvage some items. I beat the first boss and unlocked the next world. Um, so to show you that, I'm going to go down here and go to the next world. Uh, it's called a patrol mission. So this was the abandoned temple, which is like a PvE four level uh, fight. And this is the patrol. Uh, I added a bunch of new features to the game. Uh, one of them is this new battle mode called patrol. Enemies will randomly spawn. Uh, you see where the blue uh, things are coming up out of the ground? That's a potential spawning location. Uh, so they spawn randomly every eight seconds. Um, and you have to kill, you have to get the green bar at the top all the way across to the right, meaning that you've killed every enemy. Oh, he's doing a little moonwalk over there. Ah. It's definitely a, a crazy amount of fighting. I have no idea what enemies are going to be in front of me, so that's, oh, there's two there. So that's always interesting. Um, but yeah, probably the hardest part is just not knowing uh, what's coming. You, you're running around, all of a sudden enemies can spawn next to you and um, above you. It's, it's absolutely insane. But right now, I mean, I have good gear. Uh, I've beaten the boss already, so I have nice loot. Um, and this is easy, but that's why the patrol mission is second, because to do this first would be just insane. Uh, you wouldn't have the killing power. Uh, maybe I'll show you one of them spawning in, um, if, if it happens randomly, if I get lucky. Uh, what you see is just a flash of blue. Oh, there it is right there. Wow, okay, that was super lucky. Uh, random. Um, yeah, so that flash of blue is just like, enemy here, look out. Uh, but the little blue things let you know not to stand on those areas just in case an enemy spawns. And I'm actually, I'm clearing them out pretty quick, almost faster than they can spawn in, because it is every 8 seconds. Um, but you just kind of run around the map in circles until you fill up that patrol bar. Uh, and oop, you just get random fights that you wouldn't normally get in the game. Oh, yeah. There's a guy spawned in. I was waiting on my reload bar. I'm not even using my fireball. I probably should be using that more. Especially on the big guys. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, there's knockback now. I don't know if I told you that. That guy hit me and I flew up in the air. Uh, the knockback is annoying. Especially if you're jumping during the knockback, you will go a lot further. So if I'm, if I'm jumping up like that, you get flown up in the air. It's kind of cool. I mean, I guess you could use it to your advantage. Uh, but if you're not jumping, it's less of a, a violent action. He ate my fireball. This gun's got low top end, though. So that patrol's almost done. I think it's got one more kill. Plus the guy this one makes. Yep, there you go. Okay, so it says new level unlocked. Return to space station. So let's return. You notice the Y is pulsing up there because it's trying to get my attention. When you beat a uh, patrol mission, you're likely to get a modified item. In fact, you're 100% going to get at least a modified item. Uh, but when you beat the boss, you're guaranteed a gold item, which is a legendary plus a uh, modifier. The next game mode I'm going to make, Defend the Flag, will uh, guarantee a legendary, but not guarantee that it will have mods on it. So 
Patrol is probably going to be the easiest one because you can take your time. You can go wherever you want. Capture the flag will be a little harder. Uh, excuse me. But the hardest thing definitely will be beating up boss. So I guess I could run through to the boss real quick. Let me just salvage my crap. Oh, I should put on my Trigun. That's actually not a bad gun. So let's go back and do the abandoned temple. Um, the patrol should have unlocked this, but I haven't made it yet. So uh, we just real quick run through the level because I, I know where everything is and I have decent gear. Uh, but oh, I can show you me dying. So how about I die and I'll show you what happens. You Let me go to the next level though before I die. Uh, this is like a really nice feature. I'm really mad I didn't put it into the original looter die. Because uh, it's just so simple, and I think everybody's going to be for it. There's not a person out there who's going to hate this feature. So let me just die real quick uh, in the next area. Haha, <laughs> eat my fireball. Okay, yeah, so I'm in a new area. Let me just get murdered. Ah, kill me. Oh, I got too much armor right now. It's only doing 17 damage. I have like 300 life. Okay, kill me, kill me. Kill me. Okay, so they killed me. It says game over, but you respawn at the start of the level instead of having to go all the way back to the beginning of wherever you started from. So instead of being on level zero, you go to level two. So it's nice. Um, it's definitely an improvement. Uh, let's go fight this boss, though. I don't know if you've seen him from my other videos. Uh, let's do this. I'm actually drawing a blank right now if I made it that you always get a gold item. I thought I did that. Maybe I did. I thought it made it that you always get a gold item uh, when you beat the boss, not just the first time you do it. 50% sure I did it? But that's the intention. That's what it's going to be, whether I added it or not. Ow, they're kicking my butt. Jeez. Okay, Chris, come on now. <laughs> you did make the game. Stop being an idiot. Alright. I'm almost done. I'm kind of rushing here. Eat the fireball to the face. I should probably make the fireball bigger. So it's not, not so uh, inaspicuous. All right, here we go. No, inconspicuous. Yeah, I just completely said that word wrong. All right, so here's the boss. Eat fireball. Whoa. Yeah, fireball's not even worth it on this machine gun because I'm better off firing the machine gun. I guess it's worth it when my power's out and I need to fire it. Ooh, oh, 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 crap. I got to be careful here. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Almost got my heal. Mm. He's tricky. It's kind of cool. Hopefully, everyone will be able to beat this guy. I didn't want to make him too hard. Uh, so, I made his pattern very simple. Also, if you die, you're gonna start right over right at the boss. So, again, that's, that's pretty nice. So, this is level complete. Return to space station. Oh, it did give me a gold. Okay, cool. Oh, another health piece. Yeah, I mean, head piece. So you kill the boss, you'll get a gold for that level. Obviously, when you're max level, that's not going to be as good. But it does mean that you'll be able to sacrifice the item and get a gem. So let's go back to the space station. And this video is already up to 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to end it here. But I can salvage that item and get a nice uh, space gem out of it, which I got down there. Uh, and if I upgrade my helm, I can say boost rank and bam, take my gems and, and put them up into there. So now I think it was, I think it's rank 5 now. So oh, rank 6. So my health per second is now rank 6 on that helmet. So that's really nice. Uh, you, can't, you can't roll above 5 uh, in terms of a drop in the world, but you can use space gems to go higher than 5. 
Uh, okay, so that's what I have so far. Um, and my internet just died, or connection to, yeah, my internet died. We're having a storm. So good luck and have fun, everyone.